Hello everybody, this is Gwyneth Isaac speaking. Um, we have had uh, with that cop. Um, <laughs> ignored the opinions of the Attorney General. <laughs> that video, the, the raw footage, has now had almost 300 hits. Wow, that's more than any YouTube video I've ever done in my life. Thank you guys for taking notice. Now, something really, really interesting happened. I went, came out here. It's a really, really cold morning. That's why I'm all rugged up. Um, to do a YouTube video, coincidentally. And it's just after 9am in the morning. And... A police car went past. Coincidence? Maybe. <laughs> we have not had a police car go past this place for quite a while. You know, maybe days, weeks. Not one that I've seen anyway, and I'm home most of the time. Um, so, <laughs> we used to get, back, back in the days when, um, you know, I was being really, really harassed by um, the Wedderburn police, specifically Brad Hyatt, you know. <laughs> uh, well, I was getting six and eight police cars go past a day. Wow. This was like three years, two, three years ago. I was getting six and eight police cars go past a day. I'd sit on my front porch and count them. Yep. And... Um, that's, you know, that was scary to, I mean, we live in a pretty rural area, uh, 18 kilometres from town, you know, um, <laughs> to have this guy who's behaved extremely aggressively and you notice the horse over there, he's a harness horse. It got to the point where I was getting about in my horse and cart because of the licensing and registration harassment that I was receiving from the local police. How's that? And he pulled me over in my horse and cart. Brad Hyatt. He knew exactly who I was. License and registration. <laughs> License and registration for a horse and cart, excuse me. Anyway, I've never let him live it down. Um, he doesn't like me very much. I don't think any of the local cops like me very much. Okay. As I, stand up. I learnt that a long time ago, that if you stand up to bullies, they generally back down. They might give you a bit of a fight, but they like to pick on we now what I really came out here to do was to show you fellas my vehicle okay there she is Bon one principality Bonhamia diplomatic vehicle that's what that cop the other day was so upset about and on the front Principality Bonhamia diplomatic vehicle. All right, front windscreen. This was what I was trying to show that cop, and he completely ignored it. This vehicle is being driven subject to section 4, subsection 7A of the Motor Car Act of Victoria 1930 and 1909. Officially recognised legal opinion. This is the Attorney General's opinion, Commonwealth Attorney General, opinion number 1489, website legalopinions.ags.gov.au, uh, forward slash legal opinion, forward slash opinion 1489, statutory declaration saying that I have seceded. Okay, you can pause that and read it, and I'll probably put. Um, a copy of it on my Facebook page which can be found at Gwyneth Isaacs please come along and put in a friend request 
Unless you're a complete obvious shill and troll, I will probably accept it. Okay, now this is the letter. I actually wrote this letter before the incident happened, okay? But I'll read it. Dear Sir Madam, I'll also put a copy of this up on my Facebook page too. Sorry I'm shaking, it's cold here. Dear Sir Madam, regarding the above matter, could you please inform me what manner of laws your courts are sta sitting under? Note I am not asking what you what law you are claiming that I infringe, since I already understand that, nor am I asking what jurisdiction or parliament wrote the legislation. I know this as well. For example, are you a Chapter 72, that's at the Australian Constitution, Common Law Court, an Admiralty or Military Court, a Commercial Court, Court of Contracts, a Religious Court, Vatican, Sharia, Masonic, other, please specify, or other court? Until I know this information, it is impossible for me to respond to this matter in any way. I am sure that you will agree that it is only reasonable for me to know what manner of laws I am being judged under. How, otherwise, how can I possibly be expected to construct any manner of defence, since they all have different rules? In truth, me. Uh, please make your reply in the form of an affidavit, as it may be needed to be submitted in evidence. Thank you. This is the reply that I got, okay, from that letter. I'll get it out. Civic Compliance, Victoria. Okay, 20th of May, 2016. All right. Jennifer Carter a.k.a. Gwyneth Isaacs, Princess Jennifer. There's my address. Dear Sir Madam, re the above matter that I just read to you. We acknowledge receipt of your recent request for information regarding the above matters. Your query has been referred to the Infringement Management and Enforcement Services Department of the Department of Justice and Regulation for Investigation. A response will be sent to you in due course. In the interim, should you have any further questions concerning this matter, please contact our office on the telephone number listed above between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 p.m., Monday to Friday, excluding public holidays. Your sincerely correspondence officer. Ha! No name! Gee! Wow! No name! Mr. No Name wrote to me. Ha! Mr. Cor Cor and it's not signed. It's not signed. How's that? Correspondence officer. <laughs> you know why they don't want to put a name to it? Because they know I'm right. And they know that the whole thing's a ficking extortion racket. And they know they're going to be in big trouble. Because they're all contractors of Circo who run the entire infringement systems in the state of Victoria and the police and the courts and the whole freaking deal because we've been taken over, boys and girls. Anyway, it's getting up to, um, you know, 10 minutes. So I guess I'd better see you later.